What up, y'all? Your boy Dreadman is back, and this is a video for my sports heads out there. It's about my top five picks or top five teams who are going into this year's 2011-2012 NFL regular season. People were scared if he was even going to have a season this year, but y'all should know by now that America can't live without football. But anyway, I even looked on NFL.com to see their input, see who they think are the top five teams in the NFL. And I agree with every one of them except for one, but the top five teams that they picked were... The New York Giants, that one I would don't agree. I would probably either switch them with either the Jets or the Colts. The second one they picked was the team that's stacking up right now, the Philadelphia Eagles. They got Michael Vick leading them. They got um, the third team they picked was, of course, the always competitive New England Patriots. And the fourth and the fifth were this year's Super Bowl competitors, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Green Bay Packers. Now, I agree with that. Now, my Steelers this year, we got a an intermediate schedule, but... I, whenever we have a winning season or a championship season, whether we win the Super Bowl or not, we all we are like one of the most bipolar teams in the league because in it will the, the first game we have of course is against our division rival the Baltimore Ravens and that game is on 9/11 and our first game I, I hate to say this but our first game this year is going to determine how we act as a team for the rest of the year and as far as the um the Green Bay Packers you know they do what they do the defense hold it down and they got Aaron Rodgers leading them. that's why they um. And Aaron Rodgers, he got ranked number 11 on this year's uh, top um, 100 players, which seems pretty appropriate. I don't really think he's better than Drew Brees, but, you know, that's they picked the list, not me. And as far as who I think sleeper teams are going to be this year, um, like I said, I just mentioned the New Orleans Saints. You know, they're a sleeper team, and they got a pretty damn good offense. The defense need work, but, you know, with Drew Brees leading the herd, you know, they can get pretty damn far in their division. I think that the Saints will probably finish out this regular season probably about – 11 and 5, I think that'll be their record. Another sleeper team who I think is going to be the, um, believe it or not, I, as, as much as I as much as I hate to say this, being a uh, Pittsburgh Steelers fan, I think people will be sleeping on the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, last year they did pathetic, they did horrible. I mean, but even, mind you, the peak for the Dallas Cowboys back in the 90s when they had Emma Smith and um, Troy Aikman and company. But I think uh, they might do a little bit better this year. I think the worst they'll do is probably about maybe a an eight and eight record, but they might get to the division playoffs. It depends on what the re what what um it depends on what the rest of their division does, but we'll see. Another team that I think people are sleeping on this year is hmm yeah probably the the New York Jets. They're a sleeper team, but you know the Jets they stacking up as well. They um let's see who did they draft. I'm surprised they didn't get Nami off some but shoot Philadelphia Eagles is the one that's got them. But shoot they even got a uh, Plaxico Burris, um, not the Eagles, but um. The New York Jets, they got Plasco Burns. Would that help them or hurt them? We'll see. I think they'll probably finish out this year probably with a 11-5 record, probably about a 10-6 record, which I, I think the same thing about my Steelers. I think the best the Steelers are going to do is probably about 12-4. That would probably be their best record. Now, as far as the um, another team I hate, as far as who I think is going to be um, the division leader in the, a the AFC as a whole, probably, yeah, Probably the New England Patriots. They'll probably will be. But it depends on how the rest of their schedule go because the Steelers and the Patriots, I think they're uh, week seven, week eight. Somebody look at the schedule and correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I think um, they'll probably be one of the top three in a division. But I think the top three in the AFC will probably be the Colts, the Steelers, and the Patriots. And in the NFC, I think it'll probably be the Eagles, the Cowboys, and probably the Saints. But as far as who I, my Super Bowl picks or the, the top three pairs of teams who I think are going to go into the Super Bowl, it'll probably be either Colts, Eagles, um, the Saints, and the Patriots, or a rematch between the Steelers and the Packers. That's just my two cents, who I think. But anyway, who's y'all top five teams going into this year? Who y'all think is going to go to the Super Bowl? Anyway, I'm out, y'all. Thanks for watching.